Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time. On September 29th, 2024, during a 14 night cruise on the Caribbean Princess ship while she was docked in Norway, guess what happened? Her moorings broke free. All chaos went crazy. And when I'm talking about chaos, I'm talking about this could have been really serious. People could have gotten hurt. The gangway fell into the water and got submerged. But thankfully, there was nobody in the gangway when this happened. I mean, recently, I think in the past couple months, we saw something like this happen. And at that time, there was nobody in that gangway also. So right now, the man upstairs is looking down, make sure nobody gets hurt in the gangway. So thank God that nobody was hurt. And the reason of this is what they are saying is because of the weather that this has happened. We've seen this happen before where the wind gets so strong. You think these ships are so big, but remember, they're in the water. I mean, I can't just go up to and push it, right? Okay. But think about it. You can pick up anywhere that's three, four, five hundred pounds easily in the water. Once you get them out of the water, you're going to sink because something happens in the water. You're much lighter in the water. And that's why when these winds get so powerful that they could push any of these monster ships away and the moorings and the rope, it all snaps. And these ropes aren't tiny ropes. These ropes are the size of your body, some of them. They're, they're humongous thick ropes and they still snap. On October 1st, 2024, two Carnival Cruise Lines guests went on a cruise and they snuck on a handgun. This is crazy. I don't know how in the world that someone snuck on a handgun through TSA, through the Carnival personnel, and got caught, obviously. Something really serious could have happened. When I say serious, someone could have got shot because of this. I mean, if this could happen with them, who says that a terrorist can't come on board with a gun and try to cause disruption to the cruise and hurt everybody on that cruise ship? But now, one of the guests, Kendra Gordon, decided to do what? I don't know why they decided to do it, but thankfully they did it. Because this is why they got caught. Decided to post a video online of having the gun in the room, in the safe, right? And then they went in the hallway to show that they were on a Carnival cruise ship and started going crazy. Not going crazy, me. me I mean, just, just trying to talk shit about Carnival, saying, oh, I snuck this on, but I was not able to snuck on some of this other stuff, right? was just complaining about that, right? But the fact is that that gun should have never been allowed on. I mean, it's crazy. I don't know how in the world they snuck it on, but obviously they did sneak this gun onto the ship, and there were some major consequences with what happened right here. But before I tell you that, I am now going to show you a video of this incident. Day two on Carnival... On Carnival, now mind you, check bag. They took my pickles, my hot sausages, open bag of popcorn. But yeah, we all good. Let's go, El Travisto. I'm hitting that song. Yep, trying to tell you. Matter of fact, let me walk home out here. So, like, live to me. The cleanup. Okay, his thing got here, so he's somewhere close by. But yes, literally on the ship, guys. I mean, so the consequence is simple. What has happened to them? They have been banned from any Carnival cruise ship for the rest of their life. I mean, I don't understand why people would want to try to sneak on a gun when no one on there has a gun. What? You worried that if. If you get into a fight, you're going to pull it out. Forget about it. You, you're going to pull it out. All the security is going to come. They're going to shoot you, and you, you will never be around on this earth. So it's a smart idea that you did something so stupid, bring something illegally, and even more stupid is to post it online to try to talk shit about, oh, I did this, I did that to make yourself look good. But in the end, you screwed yourself because now you can never go on any con cruise ship. And you probably put on like a TSA watch list because you snuck a gun on. So they're going to they're gonna search you. Oh, my God. They're going to search you good. I've already been searched good because they do it 
in my shampoo or something. I put the shampoo in the wrong bag by accident because I was in the restaurant. I was packing. And this is all crazy. But thankfully, they got caught. And this is the consequences that should have happened. And it did happen. And they will never be on any kind of a cruise ship. Me, personally, they shouldn't be on any cruise ship in general. They should be banned from taking cruises for a long time. Well, thank you all for watching the show today. If you see, I'm actually not at home right now. Actually, right now, I am in road time. So if you want, maybe I'll give you guys a quick uh, actually look out there. So I'll give you guys a quick look of road time. I'm going to show you guys right now where I actually am. So just give me one second and I will be right back. So now I'm back. I was fixing um, my uh, selfie stick. So let's give a quick look for everybody. And then, so right now I'm actually in Rotan and we are, I'm on the Carmel Celebration. And as you can see, I have an extended afterview balcony, which is right over here. Okay. So I'm on the back of the ship and now I'm going to show you the Carnival of Paradise. Which I'm on Carnival's biggest ship and this is their baby ship. So right there is Rotan and, you know, it's actually a really, really nice port. And I just want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for always watching the channel. And I will be back on my lives. Actually, I'm going to do a live on Saturday afternoon and looking around 2 o'clock. Right, so to be doing that live, I, I thought the, I thought the um, horn was going off. So around two o'clock, I'll be doing that live, and then Wednesday I have the live with Tinkerbell on across the waves, and I may do a short live. I'm gonna try a live on TikTok on Friday at some point. So please stay tuned because I have two C days on Friday and Saturday. So that's why I'm gonna do these two lives. So until next time, everybody, safe travels.